representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category. The Seaborn FX21 has an overall length of 20 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 1 inch, and a max horsepower rating of 200. Designed to float shallow and provide a dry ride to any destination, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, a dry weight of 1,850 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 45 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, you spent the morning on the Seaborn FX21. It looked like it was riding good. I'm telling you, Rick, this thing really, really rode like a champ. I mean, I rode around and around and around. I was trying to find some waves. I mean, it's a beautiful day here, but every wake I looked for, I ran to it, and it really just kind of got up on top of it and floated right over the top of it. It really, really impressed me. There are some boats that you're almost married to. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This boat fits in your life. You don't need another tow vehicle, okay? You don't need a lot of money. You don't need a big loan, but it'll get you where you want to go. And as you showed me this morning, it'll get you there comfortably. Absolutely. You know what? A bay boat is a bay boat. I mean, they've got the same features. You've got a forward casting deck, rear casting deck, hatches to put things in, live well. Basically, it's a platform. Okay, this boat has all of that. It's a bay boat that's going to do everything that a $100,000 bay boat would do, only much more affordable. Rick, take a look at this deck right here. Okay, when you think about bay boats, this is where most of the action's happening up here, right? You don't need a super fancy boat. You want somewhere where you've got a nice stable platform to stand up here and fish. This is it right here. I mean, it's got a pad here to mount your trolling motor. You put a power pole and a trolling motor on this thing, stand up on the front of the boat, you and I could be pitching to the mangroves right here. I mean, plenty of room for the both of us. You've got storage underneath here, rod lockers that lock on both sides. Listen, don't think I wouldn't be afraid to take this thing offshore either. The way this boat rode today in that little bay chop I was riding around in will get you up on that pad and it kind of floats over the top of the waves. This would be a great boat for running the beach. Cobia fishing, tarpon fishing, you name it. George, let me tell you something. Seaborn did really, really right with this platform too. For us old guys, boy, <laughs> is that two-step easier. Absolutely, and also you trip getting up and down out of there. If the boat's rocking a little bit, trying to make that step up for sure, that extra step makes it a lot easier. You mentioned the fact that this is where the fishing happens most often in a bay boat. That's why you need a live well up here. Yeah, you've got one here and one in the back. We could each have our own live well, Rick. George, remember what I said about how this boat fits into your life? It doesn't define your life. It doesn't take up so much room. Yep. Okay, well, how cool is it that this rail and this windshield both lift off and you can swing it in your garage? Absolutely cool. Let's take a look at the console, Rick. This base of this is plenty big enough to put your displays on here. You've got a nice built-in integrated footrest with a sea deck pad on there. I mean, it's nice. It's not like a stripped down boat. It's 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 practical and really nice. Well, there's certainly nothing bare bones about this seating. What they did is they took a boat that was basic and very affordable, but added the features that made it stand out and made you more comfortable. Look at how comfortable these seats look right here. And you can sit down while you're driving or push these back and lean, have a great backrest right here. Cooler underneath, you got a fold down footrest, there's comfortable seating, rod holders in the back. I mean, it's got what you need. Let me show you the rest of the seating too, because it's got cool stern seating. George, it's a great platform back here to cast from, but what I really like, this is some serious stern seating. That's comfortable. You're all about the seating, man. I am. It's a I recurring tell, well, theme with everybody you. Everybody knows that this is the most comfortable place to ride on a boat. I like being able to walk around back here and fish, though, man. What a perfect place for a live well. Okay, you're going to sit there, but that's going to be my bait well, all right? So don't go in there. You can use the baits up in the front. <laughs> you know what else is cool, Rick? You've got an integrated swim platform back here too, built into the hull. Got a flip down stainless ladder, getting in and out of the boat, not a problem. A very good place to start if you want to get your family on the water. Yeah, if you want a new boat, but you don't want to remortgage the farm, the Seaborn FX21 is a great little boat to consider.